We have to do something. I didn't kill anybody. Why did you run? Because I'm being set up! Luke didn't kill Stefan. That's not what the evidence says. Maybe you don't have all the evidence. Nobody traps Carly but Carly. She's in love with you, Sonny. It's better now. For you. Roses. How sweet. Uh, actually, I can't take credit for them. The delivery guy gave them to me. You have a uh, Fred baby in Vancouver to thank. Dump them with the rest of them. Oh, no. This can't be because... Eddie's angel. She won't go away. You know, we're going to have to find some way to get rid of her once and for all. Well, couldn't we just keep her around for strictly private appearances? You're going to have to work very hard to convince me of that. I'm sure I can think of something. Don't answer that. I'm screening. Could be business. Hi, it's Alexis. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Angel. Cliff DeMonica, Playhouse Magazine calling. Listen, we really, really want you to be our Christmas angel. December issue, centerfold. Name your price. Are you interested? How the hell did he get your number? The phone is nothing. You should see the internet. I've been shutting down Eddie Angel's sites all morning. Okay, first of all, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, because you have slightly more important things to think about. Emily, your family, I can handle this. No, no, I could use the distraction. Anything to keep me from hounding the police or heading out looking for Emily myself. Well, let me know if I can do anything. <laughs> I'm just... Shocked that you still let me in the door after the chaos that Eddie Maine has made of your life. I know, I'm shocked too, but you're good for my soul. <laughs> oh, is that a proposition? <laughs> oh, I love a man who catches on. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. What? Ten new Eddie Angel sites in the last hour. I'm leaving the country. <sighs> Come on, lots of young sir, call him. Hey, what took you so long? I slept at the alarm. Oh, you, you, you can't take the nightlife, huh? <laughs> you know, raves aren't my thing. How'd it go last night? Well, I, I hit a few places where people knew who Xander was, but they couldn't tell me anything. You? Your hunch was right. I started letting people know that we were offering money for information, and this guy stepped up. He said that he partied with Xander in Albany. Really? You think we should head up there? Well, you know, since Helena came through with the cash, there's nothing stopping us. I can leave any time. All right, well, what about Elizabeth? I think that she should know that we're, you know, we're heading out of town. I was actually thinking that she could come along. You want her to go? Elizabeth has a way with people. They open up to her. If she comes along, she'd probably get more information than both of us put together. Is it worth the risk? I mean, it could be dangerous out there. Why don't we leave that up to Elizabeth? I've worked with her before. She's amazing. If she does decide to come, we can get a lot more leads on Emily. No luck finding Emily? That's it. I was out all night. Thanks to Taggart, the trail's pretty cold. Well, do you have any feelings or hunches about where Xander might have taken her? I think he's heading for the border into Canada. Now, look, I, I really believe that Emily is safe for now. As long as he needs her, Xander won't hurt her. What happens when he doesn't need her anymore?
Garcia, has the surveillance team called in the report on Sorrel? He hasn't so much as Jay walked since the night he had the Spencer kid beaten up. He knows he's being watched. He had one unexpected run-in. Really ticked them off. Must have had to do with Emily Quartermain. Oh, don't tell me Jason jumped him from a dark alley. It was the other one, AJ. AJ? No, that can't be right. The surveillance team made a positive ID. You ought to warn the guy to back off. He's in way over his head. Thanks. Bobby, are you here to see Luke? Yeah, if they'll let me. Yeah, call me if you have any problems. Okay, okay. Thanks. Oh, Adara, excuse me. Um, do I get to see my brother or do I have to come back with an attorney? Interrogation room. Go ahead. Thank you. I have permission to see my brother. He's all yours. I'll be right outside. Hiya, Barbara. Hi. I'd hug you, but... Yeah, uh... they'd probably slap those silver cuffs on you. Take you out of here. You look beautiful. You must be in love. I'm worried about you. What are you gonna do now? Prove a medicine. I already put in a call to Alexis. And she hasn't called me back yet, but I'm sure she's going to take your case. You think she's going to jump at the chance to defend a guy who interpoled the FBI and the PCPD, all think killed her brother? Trust me on this, okay? Because your plans haven't been going so well. Hey, great. my plans have been superb. Apart from a couple of bad accents, a dead monkey, and some problems at the bank in London. Oh, oh, I see. So, which one of those landed you in here? A hitch in London. My Swiss bank account wired me 100,000 pounds. The minute it arrived and I had it packed in a nice little tight suitcase, Interpol shows up with a couple of U.S. Marshals and extradition papers. Well, obviously Swiss banks aren't as good at protecting the identities of their clients as they used to be. Yeah. Look, is there anything you can do? Um, well, yeah, you could... Uh, Laura and Lulu are out of town. I know they're with Leslie. I think they're with Leslie anyway. But you could find Lucky and tell him I've been arrested so he doesn't read it or something. It's already done. Oh, yeah? He thinks I did it, right? Oh, you know, Lucky has so much going on right now. I'm not sure he knows what he thinks. You want me to ask him? Come and see you? No. Uh-uh. No. If my son wants to see me, he knows where I am. You're telling me Nicholas is raising money to get information on Xander? Yeah. He and Lucky have already started making their rounds, offering to pay for any leads. I'm going to go with him no, tonight. No, hold on. Hold on, Elizabeth. you got to be careful. People will tell you anything you want to hear for the right price. I know. But on the other hand, I think it's easier for them to open up to their peers, rather than the police or even you. And besides, it's, I, it's better than doing nothing. Not if Sorrell and his guys find out what you're up to. Listen, if you're going to try to scare me I'm away, not, it's not going to work. I'm not trying work. to scare you. I'm trying to make you see what you're getting into. And I've heard you. But you're still going to do it. Yeah. Listen, I love Emily. I'm going to do anything I can to help find her. No, I'm going to keep searching. I wouldn't have taken a couple hours off last night if I hadn't stuck around for the wedding. What wedding? Sonny and Carly. Got married last night. Dear Alexis, can I have an 8x10 glossy of you and... That's disgusting. Ah, there we go. There's a marriage proposal. Oh, well, at least he wants to make it legal. It's a she. Oh. All right, I'll get this. You keep deleting. All right, I'll wait. Just tell Sonny that she's indisposed. I'm here to pick up some flowers to take to General Hospital. 
All right. If that's the case, be my guest. Hi, Johnny. Hi. I'll get some of the guys up here right away. Uh, no, you won't be going away empty-handed. I'm sure Sonny will appreciate a dozen. I think he's allergic. Thank you, Johnny. You're an angel. Did you hear that? I called him Johnny Angel. Mm. Eddie's angel. Look at me. I've turned into an idiot. Hey, do you think I can tear you away from your admirers? You know, actually, this one isn't such a bad one. It's a grad student, aspiring lyricist. Said that all his lyrics are about me. But they're not nearly as beautiful as all the lyrics that you write about me. Or those love letters, those lovely love letters that I, that I don't get anymore. How come I don't get any? Darling Alexis, you are the joy in my day, the inspiration in my night. Okay, you get a C for originality, but an A because you were so handsome when you said it. you being here you found Emily no oh, I'm sorry but there's a couple of things I'd like to go over with you if that's yeah, all right look I was just on my way out um... oh this is different me chasing you you turning me down you yeah, well you know it's uh I don't know I have an appointment that's all well I was just wondering where you've been since you stopped camping out at the police station waiting to hear news on Emily yeah I mean what's the point cops have come up with nothing now there's the FBI as well, far as I can tell well what about Jason Nothing. Look, I really, I really do have to go. Well, where are you headed? What, what do you mean? It's a business thing. Well, I thought you would do business on dartboards. Well, I'm broadening my horizons, okay? Well, I see you've uh, decided to skip breakfast. Yeah, I'm letting it age. Are you going to make me guess or are you going to tell me why you're here? Think this is enough to buy your sister's freedom? Why don't the police call? If we don't have news soon, Edward may do something that we shall all regret. <sighs> Hello? Oh, uh, no, I called. I left a message with Dr. Townsend's service. No, I've canceled my appointment for today. Uh, there's a family emergency. Yes, I will call. I'll reschedule, okay? All right. Bye. That's one pressure I don't need. Was that the police? No, it was Dr. Townsend's office. Oh, Monica, don't you think it's time for you and Alan to just give up this foolish oh, notion? Oh, Edward. They're too old to be playing fertility games. How can you think about anything except Emily right now? If you and Alan had paid attention to me when Emily started skipping her meals oh, and heavens, isolating herself... Are you going to stand here and say, I told you so for the rest of our lives? Emily is in danger. We should be banding together as a family and not blaming each other. Monica's right. I know you had a meeting with Sorrell. So you have me followed now? The police have Sorrell under surveillance. I got a report. I know the money is for him. He threatened you, didn't he? No, I made him an offer. He gets the money, I get my sister back safe and sound. Sorrell agreed to that? Actually, he acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, well, that sounds more like it. Listen to me, this Xander guy deals drugs for Sorrell. So Sorrell's got to know where this guy hides out. Oh, really? Well, not only will he not tell you, but you'll be lucky if you walk away from him in one piece. Yeah, well, I'm betting for the right price. He'll hey, make a deal. AJ, what? AJ, not only will Sorrell not tell you, he is not going to let on that, that, that he knows where Xander is, let alone release his hostage. We'll see about that. I know the players. You don't. Yeah, well, I'm a fast learner. AJ, please, leave it to the people who know how he operates and thinks. I know what I'm doing. Carly chickened out at first. I ended up having to persuade her. I'm shocked. 
You would think Carly would be all over becoming Mrs. Sonny Corinthos, considering how territorial she is about him. But it, what really confuses me is why Sonny would want to marry her. Oh, it's a, it's a long story. Carly's the primary witness against him, but a wife doesn't have to testify against her husband. Right. Of course, of course. Now it makes sense. A marriage of convenience. So as soon as the charges are dropped, Sonny can divorce her. Well, I, I don't think Sonny's all that anxious to be out of it. What, do you think he's actually in love with her? Maybe, starting to. So where does that leave you? Me. Well, I mean, Carly is supposed to be all fired up in love with you, which is the reason for her attacking me every time I say woo to you. Right, you know. Then again, she also attacks me every time I talk don't, to Sunny. Just, don't try to figure out Carly. <laughs> okay? You think normal, she thinks backwards. Mm -hmm. She's in love with Sunny, so of course she doesn't want to marry him. And none of this bothers you? No. Things work out like they're supposed to. Right, I used to think that once. <laughs> Wonder if anyone else gets as tired of me talking about lucky as I do. <laughs> I came in late, so you got some room here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so mad at myself. You know, I get so caught up in lucky and trying to do and be whatever he wants. I didn't stop his stupid plan, even though I knew it wasn't going to work. I could have come to you, and then Emily probably wouldn't be in this mess right now. I should have paid closer attention to the possible consequences. Stop, I, bl I, I, stop blaming yourself. It doesn't do any good. No. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh I your call missed you so much. I missed you so much. Gosh, sit down. How are you and the girls? We're in a much better place than we were when we left, but they are in school now, so that gives me some free time. So your message said you and Mac came home together. Yeah. He's willing to give us another chance, as long as we take it slow. All right. I'm really glad. When we came home, though, he dashed right to the police station because of Luke. I just saw him. How is he? He's, he's confident that he's going to be acquitted. Oh, there's a stack of evidence against him. Yeah. Not to mention his open hatred of Stefan. Well, breaking out certainly didn't help. It made him look even more guilty than what it already looks. Bobby, I don't know what to do. Mac and I are starting to reconnect, but I still feel this need to stand by Luke. If you didn't kill Cassidyne, why'd you run? Hmm? It looks bad for you, Spencer. Come on, work with us. Could go a lot easier on you. I'll take over from here, Garcia. He's all yours. Long time no see, Commissioner. Whose fault is that, Luke? Well, you know, I just don't like your hospitality. I never did. But, be that as it may, here we are, right back where we started. Unless you've made progress in framing me for murder. Fabricating evidence isn't my thing, Luke. I would have thought that, Mac. So why are you making an exception in my case? Face it, Luke, you didn't cover your tracks this time. You see, all the evidence against you was there to be had right from the start. Well, that alone ought to tell you something. The case is strong, Luke. And you, thank you very much, you tied it up nice and tight by going on the run. You ready to make a statement? Statement? Yeah, here's my statement. This arrest has nothing to do with my possible guilt or innocence in the so-called Cassidyne murder case. You see, not everyone is like you, Luke. Working on hidden agendas. Or old grudges. What's the matter, Mac? You can't even admit you got one? I'm going strictly by the evidence on this. And the fact, Luke, that you can't account for your whereabouts the night that Stefan was murdered. Hmm? Now, you had the means, the opportunity, and the motive 
to kill Stefan. The evidence is in the DA's hands right now. The case will go to trial before a jury, and they'll find you guilty. Or not. But you know what? My money says you're going away for a long time. So what do you gain by seeing Luke? Because there is nothing you can do to help him. There could be. Alexis is going to take the case. She really believes that Luke is innocent. And it's up to the prosecution to prove that Luke murdered Stefan. Well, you know, they don't have a murder weapon, they don't have a body, and they don't have any proof that Luke was anywhere near Stefan that night. I just don't want him to think that I've deserted him. Well, oh, honey, he knows you're, you're trying to put your family back together. He wants that for you. Will you tell him, if he ever really needs me, that I'll be there for him, no matter what? Okay. But what Luke wants more than anything is, is for you to be happy. Oh, oh, I am. More than I have the right to be. Sounds like maybe you and Mac came back more than friends. Oh, we're working on it. The girls enjoyed being with him. We had a lot of laughs, more laughs than we've had all summer long. Oh, I have pictures. <laughs> I wanted to show you the pictures. Oh, I can't believe it. What, what oh. happened? Did you forget the photos? It's his pager. He gave it to me before we got on the plane. I forgot to give it back. He's going to be lost without this at work. I need to get it over to him. Why don't you look at the pictures, and then I'll get them from you later. I've got a dash over there. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Honey. Take care. Take care. I'm not telling you to drop anything. I'm telling you to be very careful. Why did you tell him? Well, I thought it was about time we all started working together to find out in life. Yeah, uh, Loki, take it easy. Okay. Well, you know what we got on Xander and that we're headed to Albany. What have you found out? Jason, I need your help. It's about AJ. What's wrong? He's trying to set up a meeting with Sorrell to buy information on Xander and guarantee Emily's safety. Now, I tried to stop him. He wouldn't listen to me. He took off with a briefcase full of cash. You've got to go after him. You know, I'm on my way out of town. He's your brother. You want to stop him? Arrest him. Jason, enough people have already been hurt. I mean, if something happens to AJ, think about what it will do to your family, especially your grandmother. All right, I'll see what I can do. Stay in touch. Of course. Thank you. Let's hope it works. <clears throat> Who does Jason think he is? Emily's his sister. He's trying to help. No. Now that was him trying to impress Elizabeth. Lucky. Got a minute? Sure. There's something that I need to tell you alone. It's about your father. I'm just going to check my messages and see if anyone called. Look, if that guy from Playhouse Magazine calls, get his number. I want to talk to him. It's Bobby. She said Luke's been arrested. He's back in Port Charles. And she wants me to represent him. What do you think? I think that I'm not the right person for the job, perhaps. But it's nice to know that someone doesn't think my credibility as a lawyer is shot. All the posters and the websites in the world can't change who you are. And I'm gonna make this nightmare end, I promise you. Eddie May promises you. And the two of us know that you are a killer in the courtroom. <laughs> killer. In the bedroom, too. Love you. Hey, bro. Anything you need to tell me about my father, Nicholas can hear it, too. This concerns the murder charges against Luke. It's okay. Really, it is. So what's happened? Luke's in custody. Where? Here. They brought him in earlier today. I know it. He would like to see you. He said that? He asked about you. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna pass. 
Think about it, Lucky. It would mean a lot to him. <sighs> well, we knew it had to happen sometime. We haven't been dealing with that part of our lives at all. I'm not going to go see him. I want you to know that. You do what's right for you. We're brothers. Nothing is going to change that. I'm behind you with whatever you decide. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. We need to make plans for the Albany trip. Are you sure you're ready to leave town right away? Well, Emily needs me. I'm going. Maybe you'd feel better if you see your father first. Well, nothing's going to change. He's going to be sitting there in his prison clothes, putting on his act that he can beat the rap. And all the time, I'm going to be hearing my own arrogant voice insisting that we hide Ted's body and frame Xander. You know, father like son, right? <laughs> no, Lucky. If I see him, I'm going to be... It's going to be like looking in a mirror. As much as I hate him, I am him. Look what I did to Emily. And all the rest of you because of it. Lucky, everything you have done has been to protect Emily because you love her. No one could ask for a better friend. You are so not your father. I'm just... I'm afraid that I'm gonna shut down. Like he has. It's not in you. Okay, guys, look, with, what, with everything that's happening and going on, I think we need to rethink this trip to look for Emily. What are you doing I here? I hope I'm going to stop you from making a big mistake. Is Sorrell meeting you, or are you planning to grab him? It's none of your business, Jason. Or Hannes. What's to stop Sorrell from taking that briefcase and dumping your dead body in the river? The promise that there's more where this came from. Let's face it, I'm loaded. Sorrell's greedy. I mean, what's he got to lose by turning over our sister and putting a few hundred thousand in his pocket? You're in way over your head, AJ. What, are you going to give money to the guy who wants Emily dead? Oh, thank heaven you're here, Ned. Who's winning? There are no winners in this family until we get Emily back here. Have you heard anything? I just stopped by the police on the way over. There's nothing new. Oh, oh man, the police are incompetent. And even Jason hasn't come through for Oh, us. so now you're blaming Jason. He is a snake charmer. And Emily got wooed into thinking that Jason's way of life was the path for her. Next, you're going to be blaming the crossing guard oh, and on. Guy the newsstand. Can't you stop them, Ned? Short of a vow of silence, I can't think of a thing. You know, Emily never wanted to bring Juan over here because you treated him like a hoodlum. Face it! With the exception of grandmother, everyone in this family is to blame. Emily was at L&B night and day. I should have seen then that something was going wrong. But none of it was deliberate. We have to make it up to her now. And, uh, just hope it's not too late. I'm gonna go find Alan. He was going to get in touch with our attorney. We'll hope he'll put some pressure on the police. You, you know, Ned, you're the one who can help bring Emily back here. All you have to do is pick up that phone. How do you figure? Eddie Maine. Use the press for something other than your personal gratification. You heard the police. No media. But, Ned, if we could get her picture out there, then someone might recognize her and know where she is. Any kind of publicity could scare the man who kidnapped Emily and put her in even greater danger. You can't control publicity once it starts, and more often than not, it works against you. Ha! This from the man who turned his girlfriend into a website pinup with a rose in her teeth. A perfect example of the media gone wrong. Well, there must be something that I can do, and I don't give a damn what any of you think. Don't get upset, you Ned. You know how he is when any of the family are in trouble. Well, he's right about Alexis. Between me and the media, she's got a problem I'm not sure I can solve. I see they found you. Your sister tells me that you've been begging for me and would grovel for my help. Well, that depends. Do you think I murdered your brother? No, I know that Helena did it. I just can't prove it. Well, then it looks like you got yourself a groveling client. Uh, if you're willing to take on an accused murderer with every shred of evidence stacked against him. Don't even get me started on that. There is something that you should know first. Well, 
if you're going to talk about possible conflicts of interest here, just know that I won't bring them up if you won't. Well, that eventually will be something that we need to consider. I have a confession to make. Oh. Something lurid, I hope. Close. Hi. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Looks like Colorado really agreed with you. It was a wonderful vacation, especially the last couple of days. Mac told me that you and the girls came back with him. Thank you for being in our corner. I know that you encouraged him to call and come out and spend some time with us. He was really lost without you. But don't tell him I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. Is he around? Um, did, did you check his office? He sent me down here. You know what? Stay here, and I'll see if I can track him down for you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. That was fast. What do you mean? Dara didn't tell you that I was here? No. But I was expecting you. You think Sorrell knows where Xander and Emily are, and if you give him enough money, he's going to tell you? Yeah, well, that's the idea. Sorrell doesn't have a clue. If he did, we would have read about two unidentified bodies found floating in the lake. And why would Sorrell do one of his own men? If the cops pick up Xander before Sorrell gets to him, the cops can tag him with, with drug dealing, with kidnapping, and maybe murder, okay? Xander becomes a major liability to Sorrell's operation and to Sorrell's safety. <sighs> and you'd be afraid that he would buckle under police questioning. Right, this guy's gonna sing like a bird to save his neck. Sorrell's history, and he knows it. So it'd be in Sorrell's best interest to get to Emily and Xander before the cops And when he does, they're dead. All right, fine. Okay? No, hold on. Xander because he can't testify, and Emily because she's a witness. Well, what do we do to keep that from happening? Well, so far, Xander's smart enough to be ahead of Sorrell. I'm leaving town right now to follow the lead. Well, I'm going with no. you. No. No. You gotta stay here. You did all you could for Emily by getting me out of jail. All right. Did you find her, Jason? Everybody can't be out on the road going in all different directions, okay? One of us needs to stay behind in Port Charles as a contact. Right, so someone can stay in touch with Jason just in case he gets a lead on Emily before we do. Exactly. Okay. So you want to be the one to stay no, behind? No, 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 no. It should be me. Look, I can keep going to the raves here, offering people money in exchange for information. Elizabeth can't do that on her own. Okay, so you two go to Albany and we'll stay in touch. Well, what do you think about that? Um, yeah, it makes sense. Great. I mean, every day that goes by, Emily is in more danger. We stand a better chance of getting information that will lead us to her if we split up. Okay. Okay, well, can you be ready Friday? Yeah, I can be ready. All right. Take hey, us. Thank you. You're staying to give Lucky and me a chance to be alone together, aren't you? <sighs> you were great with him just then. Lucky needs you, right? And if you two can have a future together, you deserve a chance to find out. Thank you for helping <laughs> us out. Come here. So you knew this couple after the war. He was from a prominent banking family who had all sorts of plans for him, which didn't include his falling in love with an actress, right? She was a sweet girl. The press adored her. They followed them both everywhere. And everything they did or said ended up distorted in the media. It was very hard on them. Sounds familiar. 
So what happened? Please don't tell me they split up. Oh, no. Love conquered all, as they say. And the press completely lost interest in them when they did the most boring thing they could think of. They got married. Grandmother. Mm hmm? You're brilliant. Thank you. What for? You just gave me a wonderful idea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Just let me enjoy this for a moment. I'm, I'm just sort of picturing this. This big picture of you over a bar. Are you enjoying in this? A teddy. Yes, I'm. I'm loving it. I'm loving. It. Well, that just warms the cockles of my poster. <laughs> I'm just warning you that it could be risky to have an attorney. Who is better known for her unmentionables than her litigation? Do you want my help or not? With or without the rose in your then teeth. Then zip it. Because the court might object to this. They don't need a potential reason to throw this case out of court or have it overturned on appeal. The only reason to throw this damn case out of court is the fact that there's no evidence to convict me. If Felicia Scorpio asked to see you, refuse the visit. I thought you might need this. My beeper. I've been looking for it all day. Sorry I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I understand. Do you want to see Luke? No. Thanks for asking. You know what I want? I want you to come home and have dinner with me and the girls if you have free time. I'm free now. I would love to have lunch and dinner with you guys. It's a lot of food. <laughs> Come on. Well, looks like a visit from Mrs. Scorpio is not going to be a problem. On the next General Hospital. The next time you decide to swim that far, warn me. How did you know what I was doing? You think I'm going to run off with Luke again? Sonny and I got married. I know. Mrs. Corinthos will not be deposed at all. Mrs. Corinthos. You're never out of the loop when you read the inside scoop. Only at ABC.com.